All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Samsung model NP930MBE. So first what you wanna do is just pop out these little feet, just like this. Right. Most Samsung laptops are very similar. Um, then you wanna use a PH0 or J0, remove the screws. Okay, make sure you put enough downward pressure that the screwdriver doesn't pop out of the screws. You don't want to end up stripping them. Alright, All right, once you get the four screws out, um, if you have a suction cup, it'll be easier. Um, basically, just take the suction cup and then pull on this. Try and keep the face down. Oh, it's stuck. Let's see, this one's pretty tough. Let's see if I can get the back first. There we go. So I got like the back side corner. <coughs> Jeez. Okay. So once you get in one corner, you can start going around. Let's see. And you can pry this up just like this. All right. Just go all the way around. There we go. And once you get the front up, the back comes up really easily. Okay, so it comes out just like that. All right, set that aside. And you can see, just like the other one I worked on not too long ago, you've got the battery connector here. So to pop that up, Make sure the computer's off first. Okay. Looks like it's off. Okay. So first what you want to do is just get underneath the cable as close to the connector as you can. Not You don't want to pry up the gray part. Um, this one, there's not much room because the battery's in the way. But um, you basically want to pull up on the connector itself. Let me see if I can pry up something else first. Get underneath the connector and then while you're underneath the connector you can try and pry this little metal clip to the side of the wing and that should help you pull this up Let's see here there we go it comes up just like that all right and that's how you get the connector out same thing with the other side you can pull the metal connector all right and there you go and then usually after I do that I hold the power button for a few seconds just to drain any power, make sure it doesn't cause any damage. Let's see, this one, the power's there. All right, hold it for about 15 seconds or so. Okay, same thing with the um, speaker connectors. You would just pop them up, um, get as close to the connector as you can, and then just pull it up just like this. Let's see if I can show you one. Okay. These connectors are kind of strong, so be careful pulling them up. Let's see, is there a metal clip on this? Oh, maybe it's different design. Let me see here. Hmm. Does this slide? Oh, the speaker connectors are tough. I don't know. I don't want to rip it out if I don't need to and then cause damage. Oh, yeah, you just pull it up. Okay, so pull it up from the tail. That's how you do it. And then put it back, just line it back up, and then push it back down. The clips on these connectors are kind of tough, so. All right, there you go. Then you got underneath, let's see, this one I can take the battery out because there's no tape on top. So to take the battery out, there's four screws, there's two towards the bottom and then two on the sides. So remove those screws. All right, just like this. All right, then you can take the battery out. All right, so here you can see, you got the connector here for this sub board with the um, wireless card. Antennas, like all the other models, you just pull up on the tail to put it back, just line it up and push it down. 
the wireless card's part of this board, but if it breaks, you can replace this board. Um, the power button's connected here. You just flip up this little latch, and then you can pull the connector out. Um, and I believe this is the keyboard backlight connector. Um, what is this? That looks like a charge port. Oh, so this actually also goes to the main board. I wonder why it needs so many connectors. Then you got this connector for that as well. Just flip up these little tabs right here. All right, you can flip up the black tab and then you can pull the cable out. Um, let's see what else. You got the trackpad cable here. You got the keyboard cable here. All of these, you just flip up these tabs and then you can pull the cables out. All right, you got a M.2 uh, SSD. Um, this is a SATA SSD. Um, I don't know if it supports the NVMe SSDs as well, but this one is a M.2 SATA SSD. You got the connector here for the fan. You just grab the um, wings like this, and then you just wiggle it while you pull it, and it'll pop out like that. Just keep wiggling it, it'll eventually come out. All right. Let's see. The CPU solder it in, of course, so you can't change that. Um, all right, you got three screws holding the fan, and then the LCD connector, same thing. Pop up that tab, you can pull it out. Um, if you change the SSD or the LCD connector, or if you open it, make sure you did the thing where you took out the battery and held the power button. Um, then you got two USB-C ports here, it's a headphone jack there, and micro SD card reader, and another USB-C port here. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to this. Um, it looks like the keyboard's replaceable. There's a whole bunch of screws behind it. So if you do need to change the keyboard, um, just know you can. But there's going to be a lot of work. You're going to have to take the whole board out and all these little screws. Okay. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.